Welcome to this video in which we will show you a case of the anterior segment. This is a patient who had undergone refractive surgery, LASIK surgery many years ago in another center and he had come in for a routine examination and interestingly what we found was here you can see a line over here that is actually the LASIK uh, cut or this is the flap margin which you're seeing and then there's another interesting area over here you can see these dots over here and this line over here so what do you think this represents this is an important thing as interesting finding which i found out and uh, this was actually this is an area where the epithelium ingrows from the flap when the flap is being made what happens in this area is this this epithelium goes inside from this area and this proliferates in this area and if uh, it remains like this probably this is more of a static case which we saw but in the initial phases if you see this you can lift up the flap and then uh, wash the undersurface and remove these epithelial cells and that tends to sort this problem out for the patient. So whenever you're looking at a LASIK flab what you want to see this was a, a flab which has been done superiorly the hinge is superiorly and the flap you can see going all the way inferiorly and then going this way so the flap is always visible visible for the life of the patient and in a patient with lasik but with newer femto lasik they tend to be more sort of um, the heel better and sometimes they become imperceptible but this was probably done with a with a microkeratome and the patient recall some problem with the microkeratome during surgery and when we go over to the other side you will see there were some issues with the flap on the other side and uh, looking at the anterior chamber it's pretty much deep in this patient and here you can see the anterior chamber depth this is the anterior width of this of the cornea and then you've got this the iris beam and this is the anterior segment which you are seeing in this area in this patient. When you are actually examining the cornea you need to go on a higher magnification of the cornea. I am producing a diffuse beam and you are seeing this reflection of the surface of the cornea and here when you go on to the side the cornea has got many techniques in which you can do that. You can do retroillumination of the iris, retroillumination of the endothelial cells can also be done. Here you can see the line which you see over here it is more ragged or irregular compared to the other side. So once I go through this you will see this again that the, the flap was not very clear sharp cut in this patient. And otherwise the pupil is round, regular and reacting in this patient. We go on to lower magnification. This is a diffuse illumination of the whole cornea. You can do scleral sclerotic scatter which I'm trying to do. You need to hinge the, uh, the, uh, the illumination beam from the side so that you can get a good view.